Ciao guys, welcome to our speakeasy. Today, yeah, we kind of have a guest, but I'm actually the guest here because <laughs> <laughs> I'm, in, I'm in the new NBNF manufacturer um, in Geneva. And uh, well, it's a very special day and it's a very special year actually, because um, this is the 30th year that the Corvo family works with Max Busser. So the first time uh, was in Jaeger and uh, you were uh, pretty young, I think. This actually, this is really dating me. Um, <laughs> so yeah, 1991, I entered uh, Jaeger and I met the Corvo family, because I arrived at the end, early 92. So it was your grandfather, Giorgio, mm -hmm. your dad, yeah. Michele. And uh, I was very, it was a big moment for me because most people don't know that your grandfather is the man who basically resuscitated the reverso. He is the man. We don't really who, advertise it. Yes, he's the man who went to Jaeger Lecourt. We're talking in the 72, 73. There you go. Yeah. Early 70s, saying you should redo this watch, and everybody's like, "What? <laughs> Why?" And he said, "If I remember well, he said like, I'll, 'I'll give you an order of 100 pieces, which for Jaeger in those days was enormous. 200, actually. 200, yeah. 200 pieces." And um, he battled and, for one year. They didn't want to do. Of it. course, they didn't want to. I mean, <laughs> and it was the middle of the Quartz era, and. Um, and so I'm meeting the great Giorgio Corvo and, uh, and uh, I was actually amongst all the different jobs I did at, uh, at uh, Jaeger Lecourt, one of them was to take care of the Italian market. So your granddad and dad were the distributors and I was the youngster from the factory coming in to see if everything was done well, but they basically taught me how to work. <laughs> I had no idea. <laughs> well, it and was your first job, I think. It was my very first job. And uh, wow. I always remember, I mean, uh, going to Milano was always a, a great moment. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this dates back And then you left years. in 1999, I think. 98? 98. I, I leave Jaeger, go to Harry Winston, and then a couple of years later, I sit down with your dad, Michele, and I was like, can you help me for Italy? And he says, <laughs> uh, okay, because it's you, <laughs> I'll do it. And so uh, that's how your family started uh, actually Harry, distributing, distributing Harry, Harry Winston, Winston in, in Italy. Yeah. And then I leave, that's uh, 2005. And then by then we didn't have, we didn't have any boutiques, so we were so only distributors. And in 2007, we opened the first GMT boutique in Porto Cervo. And of course, we took immediately on board uh, MBNF. And go. it was those months when we were delivering the first HM1s as well. So, so that, it was probably, was it 2000, end, end of 2007, early 2008? Yeah. There, uh, your dad came over. Were you, no, you were not there yet. I was there already, but I was taking care, I was learning. I was, okay. It was my first job as well. Okay, so here I, and your dad looks at my HM1 and HM2 and he's like, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, okay, we'll try. And, and so that's how we started um, as you as a retailer in GMT, the very first GMT in, in uh, Porto Cervo. Yeah. I think it was with HM2 you started. Actually, it was an HM1. HM1. There was an HM1 also. And, uh, and so this story continues. And, and then I will always remember, what year is it that famous SIHH when... Uh, 2015. 2015. So uh, SIHH, we've got a little suite in a hotel. You, the whole family comes over at that point. And I tell you guys, look, we're opening a mad gallery in Dubai. Uh, so we'd already opened in Taipei. We're gonna open in Dubai. And everybody's like, oh, fantastic, wonderful. And I look at you and I'm like, do you wanna manage it? And everybody laughs in the family because basically it's half a joke. I will admit it was originally half a joke because I'm still looking for somebody. I have no idea what to do. And then at yeah, the end of the meeting, you, you, you creep up to me and you go like, were you serious? <laughs> and I, and I yeah. was like, I want to do it. And, and Max, I, I will always remember it. He told me, well, I don't even have to interview you. That, that's <laughs> saved a lot of time. And you've never been to Dubai. So yes, I remember exactly. you flying in for a weekend from Milano. I took you around everywhere, so the, the glossy the, Dubai. The like, first, look how fantastic! Yeah, but Dubai the first is. place you brought me into was um, was a supermarket, and you were like, "Well, that's how how to know a place. You have to you have to go also. I mean, you will live there. It's not gonna be you're not gonna be a tourist. So supermarkets are very important, especially for an Italian." I'd say. <laughs> and uh, you know, I loved it immediately. I loved the project, and uh, I met the Sediki family, which. I will always be grateful 
uh, for that. Uh, and I'm still in super, uh, I, I meet Hamid in Milan uh, every once in a while. And, um, and I moved to Dubai and we managed to open the first Met Gallery in Al Sarkal Avenue, which was, I think, uh, we did one year, one year and a half yeah, there? Two, more than two years, more than two years. In, the, in Al Sarkal? In Al Sarkal. Really? Yeah, we oh, did. Wow. and then we that. moved to Dubai Mall and then you moved back to Italy uh, okay. and to uh, help your family. And uh, here we go. So um, last year, last year you, you contacted me and you said um, well, next, next year, year is going to be 30 years. 30 years. So it's 30 years that, uh, that uh, our family works, uh, works with you and uh, yeah. we're very proud of it. Okay. And um, because of that, um, we wanted to, to have a little surprise. Uh, so the Med One uh, was created for your friends and for your customers and for who helped you to build the great story that it is today, MBNF and the Met Galleries. And uh, we wanted to have uh, um, a little gift also for our friends uh, that comes with, that comes from this friendship. So I'll let you introduce you. I so introduce yeah, we were scratching our head. Initially it was like, are we going to do an MBNF? No, we just can't, it's impossible. <laughs> And then I came back and I said, look, as I said, I've, I've created for friends and family. You're practically like family to me. And, uh, and so we're going to make a massive exception <laughs> because I know that now that people are going to discover this, I am going to go and live in an anti-atomic uh, shelter for the next week. Um, we're doing, therefore, a edition of 30 Mad Ones in a specific color, which I call champagne, but it was actually 4N gold. Uh, which is made, made only for your family. We'll decide to give it to your friends and the, the guys who've supported MBNF with you. Absolutely. And, um, and there we go. So um, I tend to say that I'm never going to do stuff and then I make exceptions. <laughs> I'm going to say that I'm never going to do another one. <laughs> but uh, I don't know what's going to happen in You'll the future. You'll never know. Exactly. And um, look, I'm, honestly, I'm for, and I've been realizing that this year has been a very emotional year for me. We, create, we started off with the, uh, the book, uh, the first 15 years, so I never look back. And here I am, everybody in my team like, Max, what was, the, what was this? And I'm the oldest in the company, you <laughs> factor. So I, I had to go back into memory, uh, memory lane. And, mm -hmm. um, and then, of course, there was a 20th caliber in 17 years. That was also going revisit. Massive. Then there's the lab with our friend uh, Michael Tay of the Tay family I'd been working with for 23 years. And with Laurent. And now with Laurent Picciotto, uh, I've, I've met 32 years ago, and now we're doing the 30 years with the Corvo family. This is like my nostalgia year. <laughs> and it's something very new for me. I, I'm not in that. I'm always looking forward and running, and my team will tell you it's not always easy because I never celebrate. And mm. I'm happy this year. This year is a year of celebration. And I'm, I'm so happy for this, but what I'm really happy for is the, is the last 30 years. Absolutely, same. Thank you very much. It has always been a pleasure. Likewise. <laughs> and it will be for the years to come. Definitely, as long as Successful I'm still alive. years to come. <laughs> so there you go. Thank you, Max. My pleasure. So this is it. Um, if you want to look at the piece, uh, we, will, uh, we, will have, uh, we will have it in our boutique. And um, it will not be for sale, unfortunately, because the 30 pieces are already allocated uh, to 30 friends and customers that supported us uh, for the last years, um, and um, uh, there we go. There we go. There we go.